So my name is Javier de la Torre, and I work uh, for a company called Visuality in Spain. Um, we like to work on what we say stories that matter. So we work mainly on uh, conservation and biodiversity projects. So I got planned a talk about uh, some other topic, but I changed it uh, on the last minute. I'm mean, going to be talking about a project called All Weather. So um, this project is uh, project we're doing with uh, with the uh, University of Oxford and the Met Office in the, in England, and I want to tell you a little bit about it. So what we're trying to do on this project is to recreate uh, the climate 100 years ago, and uh, you'll see this is important for a lot of things. Well, here we go. Yeah, so we're trying to recreate the climate 100 years ago. And the way we're doing that, obviously 100 years ago there were no observations, um, there were no places to, to, that were doing observations on the oceans. So uh, one place to get this kind of data is on the, on the logbooks from, from ships. So this is a typical logbook, so in, the, in every ship you get a book like that where daily they write things like where they were and that the, the climate, that, the weather that was happening. So like the wind, the temperature and things like that. So they write the, the date, the location, all this information. And this is really, really useful because once you grab all this data, you can recreate the, the weather in the, in the past. And we created this, uh, this site called allweather.org with the idea of crowdsourcing the transcription of all these logbooks. So this is what it, what it looks like. And if you go to go and do one of these transcriptions, the interface looks like that. So basically, you can first select what is the date, so like this 3rd of May, and also the location. So sometimes the ships are on ports, or sometimes they write there the, the coordinates. So you just get them. The other thing, the important, well, the very interesting thing is but they also have these, uh, these um, um, uh, dates about what it was the weather like, so like the wind, the force, and so on. And very interesting also some notes, what was going on on the boat. So if someone dies, if someone if there's a party. Yeah, but why people want to help us on doing this? Well, first of all, we can say it's because you can become a captain. So the more uh, of those logbooks that you digitize, the more you, uh, opportunities you have to promote to a captain and you become the captain of the boat. And people are crazy about becoming captains. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> everybody wants to be a captain. So this is taken from the, from the forum of the of the website. There's an incredible community behind it, and that's probably the most interesting thing about it. So you get people that actually put their kids to work on the transcription so that they can get more done, or people that are canceling uh, canceling their dates. It's pretty amazing. So this is the the results that we're going for the last eight months. So it started in November. So we got 60, 68 percent, and that's more than half a million uh, of those logbooks already digitized. It's quite a lot. So if you look at it in a map, this is how it looks like. That's all the locations where basically where we got data. So for every of these points, we got the, the weather, how it was. So, and this is gold for climatologists. This is the only source of data for 100 years ago on the oceans. So this is an animation done by Philip Brohan, one of the guys working on the project. And what you can see here is the, is the, is the ships moving around and the color of the traces represent the, the temperature. That worked perfect. So you can see like all this. Uh, so right now we only have log, uh, logbooks from England, but yeah, we're going to be importing more. So this is another application that we, was built on top of. It's called Voyages, and what you can see here is the it's just the story of one of those single boats. So you can see here it's going through all Africa, and the stories that are on the side notes get appear on the left. So you can play with the slide bar and you can recreate it. So you may wonder how good these transcriptions are. And they turn out that people are really good at transcribing things. So out of, um, yeah, of all the things that we've done right now, it seems like 97% of the transcriptions match at least by three persons. So three persons say the same. So this is pretty cool. And um, we, we can do a lot of things also to detect bad things. But the, the great thing about it is that we, can, we are starting to recreate the, the climate 100 years ago, and the first models are appearing. And that's really useful to compare to the current ones. So you can see also some fog on this ones. Well, basically, this is where we don't have data. So the other part of the project that I really love is these side notes. So this is the, on the on, well, you probably cannot read it, but there's a guy that passed away on, uh, at 10 45. This is, we found a picture of the guy on another archive. And, and yeah, so they wrote all these kind of things. So we started analyzing what kind of things, and most of them were, they are very sad. So there are funerals and things like that. <laughs> Only, and then there's also things they talk about sports. So obviously, I mean, this is England, so they were talking mainly about football. But it's very interesting because you can think they also talk a lot about dance. It's just really, so other kind of things that we capture is like when, when two boats meet in the ocean, we, they, they record it. So what we tried was to, she kind of recreate the social graph of the ships 100 years ago. So here you can see it's a full list where everything they meet. 
So this is a big project. Well, it's not a big project. Actually, it was done very quickly, but this was done by very motivated people. You get some of the names. You get some of the videos if you go to the website. They're really, really gorgeous. So I really recommend you to take a look. And uh, yeah, this is a part of what is called kind of projects uh, called citizen science projects. So it's engaging the citizens to help scientists to, get, uh, to create new data. And there's a lot of uh, different kind of projects that you can find. So you go to Wikipedia, you will find some. And I really um, um, ask you to do it. One of, one of uh, the projects that we just finished, by the way, is a, it's a project to, do, uh, to find planets outside the solar system. And actually, it's, uh, we got more than 60 candidates already. So um, just uh, probably this is just another story for another uh, Ignite. So thank you very much. <laughs>